Oh, he was hungry. He was hungry. He found it. He found it. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Got him. He don't even know he's hooked yet. He doesn't even know he's hooked. He's coming towards the boat. This is a big fish. Some pretty deep water he was tailing in. All right, let's go. made it we made it well just got back a little further into this creek and found a little corner back here it's a little deeper and there's definitely some action up in here little small hits I think could be snapper I was hoping for juvenile tarpon we'll see I'm trying to get one of these things to keep the hook in it I start speeding up my retrieve. There we go. Yes, that was, I think, a little juvie tarpon. Little guy. No wonder they're just thumping. No wonder. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah, a bunch of them rolling right now. Here we go. this time oh he didn't spit it yeah those are three little tarpon rolls right there i don't know if you saw that in the middle of this creek but those uh definitely were three little tarpon rolls that's definitely what thumped that last one. Oh, it's getting buggy back here so you know it's gonna get good right Whew. had to switch out batteries real quick i'm gonna move to the bow i got a fish rolling right there i'm gonna see if i can get one this close to the boat let's see Here we go, I got him. <laughs> How about that? That was amazing, guys. That was amazing. That's what I wanted. I wanted a little better jump out of him, but geez, right next to the boat. <laughs> that's exactly what I was asking for. And that's what I got. That was cool. That was cool. Oh, these you know, CMs are getting bad. I'm about to get out of here. This tide's dropping out. I hooked a couple tarpon, found fish where I thought they would be in a creek I've never fished before, actually. So that's pretty cool. That's really exciting, actually. Well, that was exactly what I was expecting. You love when that happens. Oh, man. Super cool. You love when a plan works out like that. It honestly does not work out that great most of the time, but I had a good tide, a lot of confidence, the right bait. I was here at the right time and thankfully found some fish, jumped a couple little tarp in there and just hooked on both side. That was amazing. That was amazing. All right, we're gonna go switch gears here. We're gonna go try and catch some trout and then hopefully switch gears over to some tailing redfish on this low outgoing and low incoming tide. Stay tuned with me guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. That way you can see new content as it rolls out every single week. And uh, if you haven't, check out floridafishingproducts.com. Uh, that's where all of our products are at. We sell the Osprey Carbon Edition, which I'm using today. That setup right there is an Osprey CE 4000 with 20 pound gray distance braided line. We call it Ghost Gray. Uh, that rod we also sell on floridafishingproducts.com. That is a bull bay rod. It's a seven foot, 10 to 20 foot rod. It is a great rod for fishing for smaller tarpon. Um, even mid-sized tarpon, honestly, in backcountry creeks like this and back in canals, I like the seven foot. It's a little bit shorter and stouter, so uh, it just gives you a little more room to fish when you're in a tight creek, creek like this. A seven foot six rod is overkill in, in a tiny little creek like this. I mean, I got 15 feet that way, 10 feet this way. You just don't need that big of a rod in this situation. So the seven foot's good. A six foot six would be a, a good option as well. But right now we only have the seven footers, um, and that worked perfect for me today. But anyways, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll see you here once we get on some trout. Peace.
on to spot number two. Oh, moved out of the creek. I was getting destroyed by bugs. Tide was dropping out on me, and thankfully I left when I did. It was getting pretty shallow on the outside of it. The uh, outside of that creek gets real skinny on low tide. And I'm sure at a certain point I cannot make it through there. So thankfully I got out when I did. But right now I'm moving over. I'm gonna fish uh, some potholes up here on the flats, looking for some big trout and maybe, maybe some redfish. I think there's a good chance there's gonna be some tail and redfish out here today. It just might be a little later in this tide, closer to the low, low point of the tide, which is about a 0.18 which is not super low, but definitely low enough for, for tailing redfish if you're in the right areas. Uh, today I'm throwing a Camo Slayer Inc. Sinister Swimtail SST. Uh, this is a great little paddle tail. I really like this camo color. It's green on top, it's red on the bottom, it's got some flakes in it, so it gets a little bit of flash to it. This is my go-to favorite. I've won a lot of tournaments on this, on this bait. I have caught a ton of fish on this bait, and honestly, I really, really, really love this particular bait. I've been throwing it for like 10 years now. Don't believe me, just go ahead and ask Chris Sensi or flashback on Facebook, way, way back on my Facebook. I used to post about these things pretty much every single time I went fishing because they always worked really well for me. But anyways, I'm gonna go find some trout guys. I'm gonna click off here for a few minutes and hopefully see you guys when I get back on the action. Peace. I do wonder, I got a lot of this, uh, Oh, what kind of grass is this? Shoal grass. I got a lot of this shoal grass right here. I wonder if the t redfish and pylon sound just don't like this shoal grass as much. Generally, I find tailing fish in the turtle grass here. I don't think it would make that much of a difference, but who knows? Some, some days, the fish are particular. baby dang literally landed and he ate it that's wild <laughs> see that's what i'm looking for kind of acting like a little redfish no snook i think it's a little snook <laughs> yeah that's what it is a little flat snook how about that oh and he's gone quick release that's nice i didn't have to get off the tower Funny, I saw a little bit of water movement. Thought it might have been some mullet waking away, but I figured maybe it could be a redfish. Thought there might be a redfish mixed in. And literally hit the water and boom, snook. Eh, it's too bad I didn't land that uh, tarpon or this snook. I'd be uh, well on my way to a, a nice slam, but that's all good. I'm just happy to hook them. They weren't big fish either. That was a 30 inch snook plus. I probably would have done more to catch it and land it. There we go. There's the trout I've been waiting for. <laughs> Sweet. Oh man. <laughs> Just needed to get into that turtle grass, I guess. Whew. I tell you what, I got into that turtle grass and I did immediately start seeing trout in the potholes. Started seeing a couple of redfish. Feeling pretty good now that I'm gonna get into some more fish. This is a really, really pretty trout. I'll take my time landing him. Need some pliers for this little guy. Well, that kind of came out of nowhere, but I got one. I got into that turtle grass, found a nice pothole. My first cast into a decent pothole once I got on this turtle grass, and boom, got a nice sea trout on the Slayer Inc. SST. And camel. All right, I'm gonna try, try and get a couple more trout and then see if I can't go find a redfish. 
as soon as I geared up for trout, I did end up seeing a nice tail and redfish. And that is exactly what I'm going to go for right here. Gonna lie. I'm not feeling stealthy at all. Oh, wow. Look at that flag. Look at that flag. Boot the crap out of them. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, that was a stud. And I totally spooked the crap out of them. I had that east wind pushing over, that line got over him, and I'm drifting here fishing by myself. Oh man. I got my heart pumping though. That was sick. Good to see a freaking big tail like that. That was a stud. Ooh, that's a big boil. That's another tail. Yep, that's definitely a tail. Round two. Round two. This is hard with this light wind pushing me around. Oh, it's not easy. I almost got to drift to him. And first cast, I'm going to have to get a great cast on him from the looks of it. Drifting down towards him, which is nice. Should give me an opportunity here. Oh, yeah. He's tailing really well. There we go. That might be it. Oh, he was hungry. He was hungry. He found it. He found it. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Got him. You don't even know he's hooked yet. He doesn't even know he's hooked. He's coming towards the boat. This is a big fish. Some pretty deep water he was tailing in. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was so lucky. Sometimes I'd be lucky than good. The cast was not ideal. Oh, come on, power pool. Get me down. Get me down. Oh, this is gonna be jumping through hoops right here. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be jumping through hoops. I got him though. I got him to eat though. Here we go. Let's try that out. How's that working? There we go. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> First tailing redfish from the Hughes tail fisher, boys and girls, ladies and gents. And he's loving it. Oh man. Oh, I'm about as loud as I could possibly be. I don't care at this point. I'm just stoked. Oh man, I'm just stoked. A lot of grass on that line. A lot of grass. That's a really nice fish too. Stud red. Freaking sight fished. Smoked the freaking paddle tail. You just love to see it. You just love to see it. Oh, oh, oh. Underneath the boat. Underneath the boat. Yeah. Oh. Hey Kyle, I bet you would have had, would have liked to have had this one last weekend, huh? You might be a little too big even. Oh, don't make me pick up that power pole, please. Oh my gosh, singing baby, singing. Oh, gosh, big redfish are just so much fun. Come on, bulldog runs like that. How do you not get hyped? Sight fishing at that, tailing redfish, and look at this, 18 inches of water, 30 inch fish close to it. Jeez, just so much fun. Oh, thank you, Lord, my goodness. What a perfect plan. Jumped the tarpon in the morning. Got one trout a little later this morning. 
it was definitely i mean that was the game plan was hit the potholes for trout and i did find one it wasn't great but definitely found one and, and then boom I was trying to get some tail and red fishing here we are redfish on the flats really nice redfish on the flats oh my goodness let me get down let me get down for this one come to papa come to papa Don't bring it. I'll leave it right here for a minute. I gotta, I gotta figure out this uh, this push pull situation here. I think I'm gonna flip it to this side. Boom. That's it right there. That'll work. That'll work. Okay. Let's land this fish. <laughs> that was a lot of work, guys. <laughs> oh, like I said, it's a learning curve in this new boat. But man, how about that for a learning curve? First time out. Boom big dog big dog redfish that is what i love piling sound for big beautiful redfish just love it all right all right let's get this out of you ah, thank you so much for the fight Whew, just a beautiful fish oh my gosh well, I don't think I need much more than that today. I've only been out here for two and a half hours. I just came up with a, a good game plan and stuck to it and it all panned out. I think sometimes people overthink things. I mean, I was fishing for trout for 45 minutes there without a bite, not even the first sign of a trout, but I stuck to it and kind of worked my way out with that tide and boom ran into the fish you know got a nice trout and shortly after that ran into the redfish and i mean that's just just because i stuck to the plan i could have very easily switched gears and moved spots but i knew i was confident in the plan Ooh, that's a good wake pushing towards me i had a good feeling it was going to work out and sure enough here we are and i think i have a couple fish moving up to the boat right now this might just sweeten the day up a little bit if i can get fish right here I gotta re-rig quickly quickly all right it's funny I ended up keeping the trolling motor in just in case I needed to maneuver a little bit and that worked out really nicely I'm glad I left the trolling motor in that way I could bump around turn the boat just a little bit if I needed to you know I don't solo fish if this is the first time I've really solo fished out of the the hues, it's a whole different ball game. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I got a couple redfish right here, it looks like. Either that or bottom, but bottom don't move that much. I think that's redfish. Yeah, or a, uh, maybe a stingray. Maybe I'm crazy. Might just be bottom. Looks like two fish sitting right there, though. Oh, what an awesome morning so far. I'm gonna hop back on the pole. Oh, really? Don't tell me it's a redfish right there. Come on. Oh, yeah, that is. That's another big one. It's another big one right there. And he got it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. You didn't have to move. Oh, I power pulled down on one spot and these fish are just coming to me. Oh my goodness. This is just, this is just fantastic. Just sitting still and redfish are cruising up to the boat and I'm able to sight fish them. I mean, come on. Can't get any better than that, can it? Can't get any better than that. Let me clear this off a little bit. Oh my goodness. Oh man, epic. What is up YouTube? Thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. Uh, I'm back at the garage and I'm wrapping up after an awesome day on the water. And I did have some time to check out the video that I shot earlier today. And I realized that basically the first portion of the video was gonna be about 20 minutes of film. And so I made the decision to actually split this video into two. 
Um, up to this point in the day, I've already hooked an inshore slam. Actually, I believe it's a grand slam. I had a tarpon, a snook, a trout, and a redfish. Unfortunately, I did lose the tarpon boat side, and I lost the snook boat side. But I have hooked and caught a very nice trout and a very nice redfish. And honestly, the action was just starting to heat up on the flats up at this point. And I really think it's worth taking that action and putting it into a whole new video. So um, if this video hasn't launched yet, be sure to check out uh, the video launch here in the next week or two. Um, and if it has launched, you should be able to view the video down here below. But anyways, if you watched up to this point already, I would like to hear some of your feedback. This is a newer video for me, and I'm, I'm trying to make this better as I go. So if you like the video transitions, or you hated the video transitions, if you liked the pace of the video, or you hated the pace of the video, let me know in the comments below. This is gonna help me make this channel better and more enjoyable for you all who are watching it at home. Uh, and if there's anything you want me to cover, whether it's how-tos or tips or just general information, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And that way uh, I'll take a look at that and see if I can create some new content um, that's more catered to what you guys want to learn. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.